Hello everybody, Karen from Crafty Karen Designs. Welcome back to the channel. This is episode four of Fun Fold Friday. And today we're gonna to make um, this buckle card. which just slots in there like that. It's really quite simple, but it looks quite effective. And it's a bit different. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. So first of all, we need a piece of Whisper White which measures ten and a quarter by five and three quarters. Um, and these sizes might seem a little bit strange. So I started off with a six by six card um, and started chopping away at it to get what I wanted. So that's the reason for the um, measurements. So it's ten and a quarter by five and three quarters and you need to score at four and three eighths. All that so that we're going to get a piece like that so it doesn't it doesn't fold in half it leaves a, a piece here to decorate and then the only other scoring we need to do i've got a piece of daffodil delight which is going to form the belt if you like to go into the buckle um, and this is four and a half by one and three quarters and we're just going to score it at half an inch from one end and then we'll give that a fold there we go and then that's all the scoring that you need to do so what we'll need to do first is we'll decorate the front of it because we need to punch a hole in it with the classic label punch which is this one because um, that's going to form the opening for the um, for the belt to go through. So this piece of daffodil delight is going to go on here, and that measures four and one eighth by five and five eighths. And then the DSP, which is Tropical Oasis, which is really really vibrant, quite pretty. Lots keen on the pineapples on the other side, but I think these flowers are lovely. I think they're. Um, hibiscus flowers I think something like that um, and this is three and seven eighths by five and three eighths and that's going to go on there like that so we'll just stick that on with some Tombow I hope you're enjoying this fun fold series I'm enjoying bringing it to you and I'm on the lookout all the time for some new interesting folds that I can um, have a go at myself and then show you how to do. So if you see anything that you think, oh, I'd like to have a go at that, but I'm not quite sure how, um, drop me a message and I'll, um, I'll have a go at it and see if we can work it out and show you how to do it. So then I'm going to add here this daffodil delight one. Oops. Onto the front here. There we go, like that. Press that down. And then what you need to do, get your classic label punch, and it needs to go in as far as it can and line it up so that it's as close to the middle of the card as you can make it. You see, sorry the lighting is not very good in here, the sun's streaming through the window so I've had to close the blinds. So then you're going to punch through all three layers, so it might be a bit tough. There we go. And there, that gives you that slot to fix the um, buckle through, the belt through. So then what you need to do is I've embossed um, this piece of white. We've got a piece of Daffodil Delight here which is one and five eighths by five and three eighths. And I'm gonna put this piece of Whisper White on the top. But to make it slightly more interesting, I've embossed this. 
um, and I thought I'd give the hammered embossing folder um, a trip out today. I've not used this very much since I got it, but I do like it. Um, looks really good with foiled paper, um, but I just thought I'd give it a whirl today. So I'm going to glue that onto there. And then we're going to add the buckle piece going across. So that you won't be able to see it on the back of the card. Right, if I get Tombow all over me. However hard I try not to, it ends up all over me. There we go. So this piece needs to fasten underneath this piece so that you won't be able to see it on the back of the card. So in order to get it in the right spot, I'm going to feed that through, through there. And then just place it in the middle, you see there, place it in the middle of the slot and then just make a little mark on the yellow piece underneath and then we can glue that round there like that and it won't show on the back of it before we, we glue it down to the card sorry my teeth aren't working today add that to there Slipped a bit, there we go. That bit of a rub. And some Tombow on this. And then add that. that side of the card there and then that will feed through there to close it up. There we go, that looks straight. Then we need to do a little bit of stamping. Um, I thought I'd get some uh, an old stamp set out today. So I brought out Love What You Do. I haven't played this with this one for ages and ages. So I'm not sure whether to put on the other one I did, um, I'm lucky to have a friend like you. Um, on this one, I don't know where, I might put It's a Beautiful Day, we'll see if it fits. Um, and I'm going to put Thank You into that. No, I'm not going to, ignore me, I'm not going to use Beautiful Day. I'm going to do the I'm lucky to have a friend like you, and then I'm going to put Thank You inside. So, I've got some real red to pick out the red in the hibiscus flowers. And I'm going to stamp on a piece of scrap of whisper white and then I'm going to punch it out with a two inch circle punch there we go like that and then I've already punched out a starburst with real red. So we'll stick that to that like that, but we'll stamp on the inside of the card first and hope we don't mess it up. Really I should have done this first. Oh, there you go. That's fine. And we'll close that up so I don't put anything in it. And then this feeds through here and we need to arrange this on here. So we'll glue that on first and then we'll use some dimensionals. All the measurements and the instructions will be over on my blog at craftycarrendesigns.blogspot.com later on. Uh, I think we'll use some dimensionals to add this to here. 
you need to add them just on one side so that when it's closed it'll look like that and you can't see the hole where the, it's going through the card so that's the plan anyway so put some dimensionals on that side because I've got Tombow on my fingers everything's sticking to me and then place that there there we go and then when you feed it through you can just lift up that side a little bit like that there you go quick and simple buckle fold card I'm sure, you, I'm sure you'll find it really really simple simple to do I hope you like it um, and obviously you can use any DSP that you like I just wanted to give some of the um, the Tropical Oasis um, a play today because I haven't used much of it um, so I hope you like it if you do please press like on the video if you haven't already subscribed I'd really like it if you did um, I'm trying to get to, th to 200 subscribers by the end of March um, and I'm now on 173 so if you could help me out that'd be great um, and as I said all the measurements are over on my blog at craftycarandesigns.blogspot.com thanks very much for watching hope to see you next week thanks bye